Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at Brock Bowers, the tight end from the University of Georgia. We all know he's been considered the best tight end in football and college football for the past two years, and he's finally coming out going to the NFL. Let's take a look at his strengths and weaknesses before we get into the film for Brock Bowers from the University of Georgia. Uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, first, first off, he's 6'4", 230 pounds. May need to bulk up just a little bit, but he's right along the lines of that receiving pass catching tight end and don't let that fool you though he was a lot better in the run game than i expected but as far as his strengths he's dominant after the catch uh ball skills and contested catches uh blend of athletic uh, athleticism and strength and he has, does a good job of finding zones and sitting down that's what you need in the tight end because that way you can give him a lot of option routes to sit and read defensives and be effective in that manner uh weaknesses uh, the way they used him in offense, they used him a lot when it took, he was most effective when they had two tight ends. Now, they didn't have a a really good second tight end this year, and so he wasn't as effective like in the Alabama game. They kind of sort of took him away. He still was effective, but they kind of took him away except for early in the game. Um, can he get consistent separation when it's, when he play man? Can he get off press coverage when, when safeties come down in the box and try to press him up? Can he get off that? And then his route tree. How well does he run the route tree? Now, he does have some wiggle to get in and out of breaks on short routes, but how well can he run the deeper stuff and how well can he get open and can he go up and, and make contested catches? But let's get into the film. I got two games for you. We're going to show you one on this channel and we're going to show you another on more Sip the Tally. Let's dive right into it. All right, let's take a look at Brock in the run game. Here he is right, let me get him highlighted for you. Right there. Now, extreme, I know what he was pass catching, but when I saw him in the run game, I was like, bro, this, this is different. I didn't expect to see him this good in the run game. And this ain't versus safeties. This is, this is defensive, defensive ends now. This is defensive ends. He getting active. Quick first step. Get inside the guy. Driving his feet. Getting him locked out. And he cut right back off of it. The running back does. It's a good job of washing that guy down. And again, I, I didn't expect to see. And this is not a one-off too. This is consistent over, over this game and other games. We got him right here now, you know, wide out. We know what he could do in the past game. They run a lot of screens and stuff to him. But, again, this is a tight end. Ain't very many tight ends that get this much action in screen game. He does. Sending everybody out there just like he's a regular wide receiver. You can flex him out like that so you get position uh, flexibility with him. You just run him out there. You get all the blocking you need. For the most part, he does a good job of when the block when it's blocked up, making guys miss. He has a little wiggle to his game. He's not a, a robotic tight end. You see him get in and out of cuts for the most part. That guy just made a good tackle on him. But again, running screens for a tight end is is different. Now we got him right here, you know, inline blocking again. Again, I was so impressed with his inline blocking because I knew what he could do in the past game, but I just was impressed with what he could do in the run game. And that's going to be a huge plus to him. Just watch him take this guy down. Down block on counter. Hands in the head in the right spot. Everything. Just watching the guy down. Letting the guys pull around off of him. And that's the same guy. Just completely erases him out of the play. Completely erases him out of that play. Hands and head in the right spot. Just folds him out of there. Like perfect. Perfect position. Look at that. Perfect position. Now blocking's gone. Just let it go. You don't get that out. You don't get that out of the, a lot of the new age tight ends. That's that's an old school throwback right there. All right, on this play right here, just watch the the footwork out of bowels. This is some some athletic wide receiver type stuff right here 
This is him right here. Watch the, the footwork, the little drill type work he puts into, into this route. Now he don't get the ball, but just I just want to, you to see this out of, of out of a 6'4, 230 pound tight end. Mm. Just you don't get that out of out of guys that play the position. You might get it out of a Kelsey or something like that, but you don't you don't get that out of all the guys coming out. You get that out of receivers. You don't get that out of him. And you know, Zero's a real a real athlete playing linebacker. So that's why he didn't get a lot of separation. But I just like the fact that you got that. You can get that out of bowels. But this is going to work on a lot of people. That's going to work. Especially if you give a little bit more to the outside, he's going to get that inside route. Not only does he give you work in the run game, his pass pro is solid too. Let's check him out right here in pass pro. Look at the move of the feet. Solid. Solid in pass pro. Got the initial hands inside. Hands on the bre breastplate. Slide your feet. Slide. No crossover. Slide. Slide. No crossover. Slide. Great base. It's great job in pass pro. Great job in pass pro. You, you Again, throwback tight end. He serves as an extra old lineman, but with the ability to play receiver. With the ability to play receiver at a high level. And this is simple. This is what we all know he can do. He can work the middle of the field on the intermediate stuff. We all know this, like nothing extravagant. This is the way he's going to make his money at. Working the middle of the field, 10 to 15 yards down the field. No, you know, nothing extravagant right there. That's that's just where he's going to be good at. Now, how many jet sweeps and, and tosses and stuff that we run the tight ends? How, how many tight ends do you see that with? Watch this. And not only is they, are they running the sweep with him, Watch the toughness. All right, you're going to make this guy miss. Ain't going to get hammered by zero. Bam, right there. Big lick. Keeps his balance. Drives through that. Takes another big lick from 52. And still going. <laughs> how many guys, they, how many tight ends they do that for? How many? An amazing athlete. Extremely tough. Extremely versatile. And he's going to make an interesting piece to somebody's offense next year in the NFL. I don't expect him to come in and be the guy, but he's going to be an interesting piece to somebody's offense because he's so versatile and can do so many things. So if you get a creative offensive coordinator and can use him and max him out, he's going to make somebody's offense extremely hard to guard next year. And so this is the first part of Brock Bowers versus uh, South Carolina. We're going to do the second game, which is B versus Alabama on the second channel on more sip to tally. So pop on over there and check that one out. And if you have not subscribed here or there, make sure you do both of them. And this is coach Evans because it's FTMF film, damn more film because the film don't lie. And we'll see you soon. Peace and love.